Good morning. Welcome to January. Happy January. And welcome to the city of Ballarat. The city, that's right. See, I've done you a favor there, Ballarat. Guys, yeah, we're down here for the Nationals, the Australian National Road Championships. Uh, there's the Criterium today. There's some road racing over the weekend. And yeah, it's gonna be heaps and heaps of fun. Now, hopefully some of you saw the three hour marathon vlog that Jesse put up on the drive down. It was interesting. It was quite interesting to be a part of. So go check that out. Speaking of the man himself, there he is. Yeah, so look, our plan is to head over to the road race course, check it out, do a lap of it, and then continue on. See what's happening in this part of the world. Maybe let you know why we're not racing. Not that that's particularly interesting for most people, but yeah. All right, let's get into it. We found an actual elite cyclist. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head out to Bunanyong, do a, uh, do an ascent. And I thought this man might help me talk about it because what you see on TV is not what it is in reality by any stretch. There's nothing we're better at than talking and riding bikes. That's right. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. So this is the main part of the first climb on the highway. And it, you could kind of break this climb down into what, three sections, yeah, Ben? Yeah, I'd say three sections. Uh, not the most exciting part. Um, early on, everyone's mostly sorting themselves out, trying to get a bottle. Um, but it's a pretty steady gradient for the first, just under 2K. And whilst it doesn't look the most exciting on TV, this is very much what grinds away your soul and sort of sets up the last kilometre for being as hard as it is. When I say it's not particularly exciting, it's still normally a good oh, four minute effort at 380, 400 watts at most. So yeah, it's not, it's no cafe ride. No. It's deeper than I thought. <laughs> it's just we're not going as fast as we used to, Jesse. <laughs> so, the other thing to throw into this is like nutrition and hydration is massive, right? So, getting a bottle every lap, really important. Oh, 100%. Like, last time, sorry, like three years ago when I raced this, it was quite hot. Um, I was going through a bottle every 20, 25 minutes. So the reason I bring that up here is because this is actually morning, where the feed zone is. And it's something I've struggled with in the past because like Ben said, you're riding above threshold here every time. On the easy laps, you're riding above threshold here. So you still have to have the whereabouts and the skill to go get your bottle feed, which will be potentially right about here, right about here. So. Yeah, when well you keep in mind that in the first hour of the race, this is normally where attacks are going. Everyone's gonna set up the early break. And yeah, that's like that, that first hour, a lot of riders set themselves up for failure if they yeah, ride the climb too much and forget to yeah. drink. Are you riding this? Are you riding this in the big ring or the little ring? Um, in, on race day. I'm a spinner, so I'm normally in the little ring. Yeah. Um, fast laps in this early part. You can be on the big ring. Yeah. But definitely, when we get to the sleeper sections, the small ring. Yeah. But I am someone who likes to see the time right off here. Yeah. The reason I ask that is, so when you crest this first part of the climb, you turn left onto Mount Bunyong Road, it does flatten and it kind of slingshots. So most guys who are riding this in the little ring will all then shift into the big rings. And I guarantee you, those first few laps, you'll see drop chains here. Because guys are 
on the absolute rivet. They're in a, a pretty unique gear. And then they just sl try and slap it into the big ring and you see some overthrows. All right, left turn. Oh, look at that shift, beautiful. All right, so second section of the climb, and this has been resurfaced since I last did it. Yeah, yeah, it's nice on the, nice on the edges at least. Talk us through it, Ben. It's essentially a one kilometer ramp that just progressively gets steeper and steeper um, as the closer you get to the top. And it is a seriously grippy ramp. But see, after that, first two caves are sort of already pretty close to the red anyway. And then you've got to find something in the bank to lift over this, this last bit. Hopefully you can see there, it does really step up. Well, that's quite noticeable actually. I hope that comes through on camera. I forgot that. <laughs> I always found the 400 meters over the top of the climb the worst. Yeah, well, because it doesn't go straight into a downhill. Interestingly enough though, it makes it, uh, like that makes it really hard if you're struggling. Once the gap opens, it's hard to come back from. Yep. That being said, it makes it bloody hard to attack as yeah. well. Like, if you watch any of the races this has been on, a lot of riders struggle to get off the front. It's not really the kind of climb where it's easy to do a last minute flyer. Yeah. So this is the last section, guys. Last 200 meters. Potentially the steepest part. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> there's the commentary box. And you'll see, this is where the pain faces will well and truly be on. And so last bit, I'm really keen to show you guys, just this, so we've crested the climb, you take a left-hander, and you'll just see now, just flat. It's just flat for a while. And it's where, as Ben said, like if you're feeling good, you can just sit and slide in the wheels. But if you're struggling, it is not pretty. <laughs> so we thought we'd bring you into the uni just for a quick lap because this bit doesn't really feature much on the coverage. But okay, look, here's the thing, like it doesn't really determine the race like the climb, but there's a whole other race going on here and that's for the domestic guys. Some of it's to get on the podium, top 10, but also to finish this race. It's hard to explain how difficult that is to do. It's not like any just race where you're finishing is like, oh, who cares? This is very different. And this particular addition to the course makes it really challenging because it's far less recovery now. And for example, here we go. We've got this left-hander here. You got a speed bump, boom, 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 boom. Left hand turn, off cam. <laughs> Left hand turn, off camber. And if you're badly positioned, i.e. not one of the main pros, it's six, 700 watt sprints out of every single one of these corners, which, yeah, as you know, just adds up. So, Again, it's, it's not really an area that probably will determine the race, but it certainly determines how a lot of guys' ride, ride goes. I love this, this left-hander down here, another off-camber one. I'll let Jesse go around it and I'll drop off him. It's into a roundabout, tips it in. There's the sprint out of it, right? Yeah. So Fed Uni, why is it in the course? What does three million bucks buy you?
We were just saying as we were riding along there, you can feel the tension. Like, you forget that. Like, all the riders, like, your interactions are all friendly. Like, there's no sort of frowning and, like, go get stuffed. But you can just sense it, like, when you see riders, that sort of short wave. Oh, who's that? Oh. And everyone's sort of, I know this sounds bad, but like everyone's kind of judging each other. Do you know? No, no, you haven't, yeah. Checking each other, yeah, checking each other, yep, yeah, right. You, don't, you want to be friendly enough, but not too friendly. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah. 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 Um, one of the things I just wanted to quickly say is so the questions obviously that we were answering with Jesse yesterday, one of them came up like, why aren't you guys racing? And yeah, we're not fit enough, etc. There's also two other kind of things I want to throw at that. Also, Luke can't be here, so there's more restrictions, so people have to run the show. So. You know, obviously if we were fit and healthy, we would have tried to get someone, but when it boils down to it, we needed to do it. But the other thing is, this is the Australian National Championships. It almost like deserves, what's the word I'm after? Uh, respect. It really deserves respect. And I'm not, just saying like in terms of yeah well yeah I am saying in terms of the preparation your own preparation but not just turning up and half assing it and that's essentially what we would have been doing and the race deserves more than that I think yeah. so is that fair yeah totally great. yeah so I hope you guys really enjoyed that full recce of the course the plan from here is I really want to get some bike cameras on the guys bikes tonight at the creek and ideally talk you guys through the race with some of the guys who did it. So that's the plan with that. Then on the race day, well on the vlog race day on Sunday, Jesse and I will be in the car. So let us know some ideas on maybe what you'd like to see on Sunday. We've actually just found out with Convoy Position 2 in the car, on the Convoy, so that looks pretty good. Drop some comments below, maybe what you'd like to see on Sunday. We can have a play with it. Obviously, it'll be a race vlog, but maybe we can play with some different ideas with it. All right, we will hopefully see you soon. If you're down here in Ballarat, make sure to say hello. Catch you soon.